I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Shepard. Yeah! I thought you were dead. Oh, man. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Hey, that's me. Thank, th th thank you so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect video. I sincerely appreciate it. And a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. Sincerely appreciate you. And also a shout out to those of you leaving comments and likes. Uh, sincerely, it, it really does help the videos and it helps my channel. And I just uh, thank you so much. And also a huge shout out to our newest patron over on patreon.com uh, slash missile online. Dimitrinov. Thank you so much for becoming a patron. Uh, without 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 you, I wouldn't be able to do this full time. So thank you so much. Uh, anyways, we are jumping into this. In this episode, my friends, we are going to turn in the data pad that we found that that showed that the mercenaries were going after our beautiful uh, yet dangerous Arya Talok. And we are also going to recruit the professor in this episode. So it might be a big episode. We're going with a squad of Garrus and Zaid, and I highly recommend you do the same. Garrus, by the way, has a ton of points now that we got him in our squad look at how awesome he is uh that we we should uh we should give him some stuff and and what we want to give him is overload that's a pretty important ability for garris to have right away and then of course we could also work with his armor piercing ammo which is actually very good as well uh we won't actually be able to grab that until he's loyal so i just want to keep that in mind um as we go forward so we do have two different things that we can do here so uh torian rebel is going to help his health his weapon damage and his power damage which is actually very useful and overload is pretty useful as well going into this next little bit but we're actually going to make his Turian rebel just a little bit stronger and then we'll focus on his on his overload so uh i also want to make sure that he is always using a sniper Dr. rifle now real quick anticipate resistance at the transport station i have also run searches for reports on archangel the various mercenary groups appear to believe works for me sure does i love that so when you get to omega after you've done something like that ed will kind of give you a breakdown of of what's going on and i don't think gavorn says anything yeah he doesn't say anything new Keep moving kind of interesting that he's even here at this point to be honest with you but our first order of business before we go to the quarantine zone is the data pad that is uh is totally missable i guess um from jareth we actually have a journal i believe for this for this assignment here, Archangel data pad recovered. A data pad has been recovered while attempting to recruit Archangel. Uh, it contains information that Arya Tzolok, ruler of Omega, will want to see, which is that the mercenary groups were actually coming after her after they were going after Archangel. But luckily for her, we took them down. I also want to point out that there is a side quest here with Grizz. We could not talk to this guy before. We can talk to him now. Uh, and I don't recommend doing that until we recruit a certain person. So we're not we're not going to we're not going to do that just yet. Look, take a look at this data pad I got this for you. This data pad was on one of the mercs going after Archangel. They were coming for you next. Let me see. Interesting. Would someone like to tell <laughs> me how this information slipped the net? I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Thanks for the heads up, Shepard. Looks like I'll have to do a little cleaning in my organization. Yeah, have fun with that. I'm gonna go. Thanks. I'll come back later. You and we'll get 40 experience for doing that, which is nice. Some experience that we get for our team is is experience I will accept. Now, I believe we also have points for... Oh, Zaid doesn't have points. I lied to you. I'm a liar. Filthy, filthy liar. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to head out here and head to the quarantine zone. And I'm excited because uh, this is one of my favorite characters, actually, in Mass Effect 2. You know, outside of Garrus and some other people. But point is is uh he's he's actually he's great the professor morden solace awesome and, a, and an asset to our team to be honest with you and in multiple ways being able to research things is going to be huge for us on insanity i'm i'm excited so there's nothing really that we can do here we do have money uh credits now that we can go buy more stuff remember we have a discount pretty much everywhere so we can actually come to Harrods and we can buy this stuff if we want 
we we're I mean we have we have the money um, and we we could what I would recommend buying right away is uh, the the um, the blood dragon armor that we can actually buy I believe it's from this market here yeah so this blood dragon armor is incredibly good it's it was DLC uh, obviously that's not anymore it is very 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 good and I definitely definitely recommend uh, buying and, and, and getting that because it, it's it's phenomenal it really is uh, we also have the other shop that we can go to down here delivery to your cabin pending good because because honestly it might even be worth going back in and getting that now so we're actually going to buy the uh to we're actually gonna go ahead and buy the geth plasma shotgun and might as well buy the matic as well and uh we're gonna leave everything else for now but that is not bad not bad at all so we can't pull out our guns or anything here because uh you know we're not we're not in like a hostile area but we're gonna go and we are going to i think we'll actually be able to equip the armor in i think we'll be able to equip the armor in this next in this mission in this quarantine mission but before we go do that, we do, because Garrus is now in our team, we actually do have some unique dialogue that I want to make sure that I show you. So before I forget, I believe it's down uh, this way, in this alleyway, if I'm not mistaken. I believe we can actually get a little unique scene. Maybe it's not here. I think it might be with the with the Vorcha. Uh, we'll have a scene with, with, with or dialogue, I should say, with Garrus. Maybe it's over here. There it is. All right. So if we do this, walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. Well, you never know. Things have ripples, Mr. Garris. Things have ripples. So let's get out of here. Let's go do this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. This is a good mission. This is a fun mission. It's difficult, uh, but I don't think it's as difficult as the mercenary ones. Which, by the way, you know, I know that I showed me just kind of demolishing everything. Uh, but that was... I, I died many, many times. So, one of the reasons why... So, we examine this door. We actually can't get in there. Keep that in mind as we go. Nobody gets in or out. You can't keep me out. I definitely recommend having an alien with you. And Garrus, of course, being our first alien. I recommend it. Do this. Everything I own is in that apartment. Let's go ahead and talk to this district guard. He's not letting this human in, even though humans we know uh, can't get sick. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. Uh. He can't go so in. So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind yeah, of law are you? enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. Well, that makes she hired sense. us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. All right, but I'm going in for Morden Solis, and you're not going to stop me. There's a Solarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. Perfect. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. We just went like our into one of our characters. Either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. You know, we have the option to paragon or anything like that, but we're gonna investigate real quick and kind of hear about what's going on here. So let's let's ask about the Any clinic. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined. Remember? Okay. Nature of the plague. Tell me more about this plague. That starts out as a cough. Then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Solarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune, and Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races, can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. 
Who are the Blue Suns? You know who they are! They're a gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. Interesting. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Solarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. You know, I really need to get in. But, uh, let's say I'll let me in and I'll help you. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Hey, that's a good point. A quarantine zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. I just, I love that scene. And that's why it's worth, in my mind, to get Garrus to join you is because I, I think that's nice. You know, he's like, hey, why don't we ever go any <laughs> plague that kills Turians? Why don't we go anywhere nice? It's funny. Anyways, uh, we do not really have any points, like I said, to put in anywhere. Uh, but we do want to make sure that uh, let's give Zaid the, the heavy rifle here. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. It upgrades the Avenger. Um, but I think, you know, I actually think that we are going to keep the Vindicator battle rifle. Uh, it's just it's just better. And then for Garrus, we're going to get we're he's going to keep that as well. Shepard's got well, nothing really. We do have a different shotgun. We have the plas Geth plasma shotgun, which is actually pretty darn cool. So that's what we're going to grab is the Geth plasma shotgun and see if we can do some serial damage with that. Now, against uh, some Blue Suns, maybe some Vorcha. I'm excited. So now we are we're good to go. Now, Bean does not like that we are going into a quarantine zone. He thinks that it can affect him, apparently. And, you know, he might be right. I don't know. I don't know anything about quarantine. So if we come back here, we will find a dead Turian, Blue Suns Turian, with a pack of 250 Ezo. Which, again, Element Zero is one of the best things we can buy. We want all of it. We love it. Uh, it is just the best thing ever. So it looks like... It, so the plague isn't in nature? Don't Seems weird. Cleared to come in. Oh, hey. Yeah, we're, we're cleared. So if you weren't cleared, uh, you, would have to, you would have to kill these guards. These guards would fire on you and you'd have to murder them. Uh, which, which, you know, we don't really want to fire guards who are just trying to do their best to keep you know keep it this quarantine contained makes sense right so we're in the gozu district of omega we can go ahead and open that for 100 credits because we can't get any medi gels or anything like that uh and i don't think we can actually talk to these guys at all either which is too bad because i'd kind of like to see their thoughts on you know this quarantine that they're kind of dealing with here so it looks like we really only have one way to go. There's another guard here, but he won't talk to us. So, blue suns and vorture shooting anything that moves. Great. Well, I am down for that because I actually uh, have no problem getting shot at. We have two blue sun mercs waiting in front of us. It looks like, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and take them out. Let's see if we can actually do that. We're gonna go ahead and disrupt our ammo and overload on this guy. That's one person down. We're going to go ahead and get back here. And then hopefully my friends can uh, turn around and take this out. No? You guys don't want to fight this guy? No? That's fine. We'll go ahead and charge. And he's dead. You know. Over the years, I've grown used to the smell of burning bodies. That's probably a bad sign. Great control at its most basic pile the bodies in the street and burn them all right you guys need like spongebob or something you guys gotta watch you guys need some 
You guys need some stuff, man. Anyways, we can go ahead and hack this terminal over here. This bank terminal, no less. You love to see that. Oh, no, I hit the wrong one. Uh, I was trying to see if I could quickly get to the actual right one that was over there. But that's fine. We'll do this instead. We have plenty of time. It's not like it's not like uh, we're not going to be able to get these. We have this one here. Remember, for this, you don't actually want to hit the like the ones that have red X's through them at all. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like we are just not going to be able to get this. We got that one. There we go. We got it just in time. Woo! So once it drains, it actually starts removing credits, uh, which we do not want. Luckily, we were able to get that, so we got 5,000 credits, but that was a close one. There's also a Batarian victim that's laying on the floor, hugging his... He doesn't look good, and he's got a plague, and, like, we have Garrus with us, and I don't want that to spread, so he's on his own, poor guy. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. We'll go talk to him. We'll go talk to him. But let me grab these power cells first for four heavy weapon ammo. All right. And then we can bypass this door as well, and uh, we have more than enough time for these because these ones are easy. These little weird ear looking ones that's what they look like they look like ears i don't know so we'll bypass this door which is good for us because it's going to give us access to a torian plague victim tried to claw his way out can't say i wouldn't do the same how do you know he tried to claw i love how you can like hear people coughing there's no one in here but you can still hear them coughing anyways in here we can play some logs to hear about what's happening Okay, that is some, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you know, sometimes, uh, you, you, uh whew, that's, that's a lot. Anyways, we want to go check on this Batarian victim here, and there, we have a few ways of handling this conversation that's about to happen. Human, should have guessed. <laughs> Bad enough you infect us with this plague. I didn't do that. Now you lack the decency to even wait until I die before you come to steal my possessions. <laughs> hey, buddy, you need help. Is there anything I can do for you? Get away from me, human. <laughs> Your kind has done too much already. Uh, Your plague did this to me. <laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. Don't blame Humans me. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies trip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <laughs> your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <laughs> Yours and the wretched Borgia. I need to find Morden Solus. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcha burn Morton and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <coughs> I hope. <coughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, stay with me. And we get a stay Paragon interrupt here. It might help a bit. <laughs> oh, you. You help me. Why? It's what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? Uh, a lot of things. Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species 
near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vortia immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vortia are immune to disease. <coughs> A human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vortia created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vortia aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solis. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to go to him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Sons tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> well, now we know why we're recruiting Morden Solis, because uh, he's a he's a badass. Okay, works for me. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory, but as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. So, he if we dangerous. go back a little bit Perhaps through this dialogue, I'll send someone to help when you. I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. <coughs> Thank you. My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. We what helped a Batarian, my friends. <coughs> Whatever Morden is, I will risk it if he can reach me. I should go. Let's do it. Bye, you men. Let's save this Batarian, who in Mass Effect 1 was nothing but evil. <coughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no, Garrus, no! Uh oh. It's all in your head, Garrus. It's all in your head, dude. I love how he coughs and he's like, oh, that's not good. Is it hot in here or am I just getting the plague? No big deal. Bypassing this door, we can get access to this room here, which of course we want to do. Anytime you see a room that you can bypass, you want to bypass it so you can get in. It's, it's That's what you need, right? And inside we'll find the dead Batarian. But we can grab his data pad. This guy didn't even have the plague, but because... Oof. So he's starved to death. Yeah. See, he's starved to death. That's horrible. That's definitely not a fun way to go either, right? Anyways, if we continue on, we're going to start reaching into a little bit more of... Well, you'll see that we have some blue suns that are actually over there. And we're, what we're going to do to take them out is we're actually going to head upstairs. Looks like our team, unfortunately, has decided, hey, no, we're going to start right now. We're going to switch to our pistol here. We're going to come up over, and hopefully we can actually 
We'll go ahead and see if we can get an overload here. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to see if we can hit this bomb as well. Unfortunately, I don't think we were able to get any of the blue suns, but we wanted to see if we could at least like get a little perfect. So we want to try to take this fight from afar just because, you know, it can get a little dangerous. Zooming in anytime on Insanity, you want to be super careful, as you can tell, with uh, with a Vanguard. Yes, we can jump in and we can do this and just an annihilate something. And that's awesome, right? But we, we need to be careful that when we do jump in like that, that we are not putting ourselves into a worse position. So if we go ahead, we're going to switch to our shotgun here. I just want to make sure that their armor's down before I actually charge in. This guy's going to be coming around this area. We have another trooper coming in. We're going to wait just a little bit. Zaid is actually down right now, unfortunately for us. So we are actually going to shockwave here. And then overload this guy. Back up a little bit. We're actually going to metagel here. That's going to get uh, Zaid back up. We're going to charge in. And we're going to back up. Woo! That was a little sketchy. See what I mean? I mean, it's so easy for your health to go bye-bye in this game uh, on Insanity. It's so, so easy. Can't get a lock. And hopefully we're going to charge. There we go. We're going to back up just a little bit. That guy's dead. There's another one over here. We know that. We're actually going to see if we can uh, overload his shields. And charge, even though he's right in front of us. And finish him off with some melees. And then we also have this modified assault rifle here that we can get. An increase. Uh, we'll be able to research that anyways, which is going to be nice. We can grab as much thermal clips as we can for the rest of our stuff. But don't leave just yet. Because there is more stuff that we can grab in this area, in this plaza here. Including this door that we can yet again bypass. We'll use the ear ones. These, perfect. Nice. These lead to the apartments here. We head down here. Hopefully, we haven't seen any humans yet. We can look around and see... A med kit. Oh, look at that! Humans. We saw that door open. We thought those Turians had found us. Did these guys create the plague? I wonder. Did you guys create the plague? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. They didn't create the plague. Or did they? I don't know. I know. So there's a wall safe here. Uh, we can go ahead and open that. Thank you for the four thousand credits. I'm sure you guys don't mind. Ever since this plague started, the Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns' territory. Hmm. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. Well, that's exactly where we're going. Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. Then this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorcha started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control, and the whole district turned into a war zone. Um. All right. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, 
grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Sense heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Salarian might offer me sanctuary. Hmm. I'll help you get there. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. I love it. I am so excited to meet this Morden guy, by the way. Also, I want to point out that I actually did not have um, Garrus using his sniper rifle, and he should be. At any point in this game, he should have his sniper rifle equipped. Uh, there's no point in having him with an assault rifle. It's actually kind of a bait, because normally that's what he has just by default equipped. And if you don't change that, he's just going to keep it. And it's like, don't do that. He's His sniper rifle, he's, you'll see, it's awesome. He can actually sometimes, on higher difficulties, can just, with, with the right skills and everything, can actually just eliminate shields with one shot. Uh, so Garrus is actually a very, very good squad mate to have at, at this point in the game. So I think we're good with thermal clips, but I believe there's also a thousand credits that I missed upstairs because I was too busy on, uh, too busy trying to trying to kill the blue suns. But I think if we go upstairs, I could be wrong here, but I believe that there's some items that we can grab, or at least something we can grab up here. Right. Okay. So we have the med kit up here, and then I could have sworn right here. There we go. We can salvage this for a thousand credits. Perfect. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we got whatever we could up here. And we need we need as much money as we can get. My voice cracked there. First first time uh, puberty is a hell of a thing. So we're gonna go through back where we were. We already got the that a sight ri rifle damage upgrade. I highly recommend making sure that you get that. Don't miss it. Uh, that'd be bad news bears. You want as much stuff as you can get when you can get it. This game just gets harder and harder. That's actually not true. It gets easier once you get research. But we're gonna go through this door here. Continue on our way. We're actually going to send our squad mates Taking position. up here. On my line. Moving. I'm going. Yeah, they don't really seem to be moving, so. Going to ground. Here we go. You got it. Heading to cover. All right, they're going up. Good. Now, if we look down here, we'll actually see that the Vorcha are fighting the Blue Suns. We do not want our squad to kill the Blue Suns. We want them to kill the Vorcha. So that's why we are actually making sure that that's what they're doing. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to equip the incendiary because we want to kill these. You'll actually notice that these Vorcha here. Oh, nice. Good job. Didn't even notice that was behind me. So you'll see that there are Vorcha troopers and Vorcha pyros. The pyros are actually incredibly easy to kill if you can break down their defenses first. There we go. Vorch is dead. There's a bear in there. We're, see, we saw the armor right here. There's a pyro. That's actually ones that we want to fight. We want to take them out before they become dangerous. Once you take out their armor and you overload them, which is what we're going to do right now. Fire in the hole. Oh, unfortunately, that missed. That is not good. Let's go ahead and concussive shot and see if that... Yeah, unfortunately, he's like right behind. So he's actually not... Whoa, I got a bear in behind me, don't I? Oh, they slaughtered it. Never mind. I lied. But this is a really great position to do this fight in. You don't have to worry about... Can't I'm actually gonna, them. I can't actually charge in. So let's see if I can, can charge in. Lock. Charge in here, charge in here, charge in. Perfect. Whoa, another pyro. Didn't see that second pyro there. So we're actually going to see if we can... Skadoodle's back here for a second. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Wait for our barrier to come back because that was not good. And I want to see if we can pop out and actually try to see if we can get an overload here. Which we should be able to get... I don't want an overload on him. I want an overload on the one that doesn't have any armor. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. All right, there we go. And now we overload him. And he'll explode. 
and actually affect everybody around him. When you hit when you hit a pyro with overload, that's what it does, which is obviously super cool. Sit down. We have another one here. We're just waiting on Garrus's cooldown. Awesome! You'd love to see that. So this can be a really tricky fight. But if you're smart and you're using the pyros against the Borcha, you can you can kinda you can kinda deal with them. We do have multiple concussive shots. We're gonna get down again because we're gonna have more, but you can see, I mean these guys just feels like they just keep coming. We got a Krogan coming in as well. We're going to pop this. And probably not a bad time to actually retreat just a bit. Getting really low on health here. Oh, no. We're trying to move. We're stunned. We're going to get down here. That Krogan's right behind us trying to uh, come in here. Obviously, this is not the best news in the world. Getting hit by that, it also isn't the best news. So we're going to retreat just a little bit behind these stairs. And then we're going to charge. That will stun him just a little bit. We'll kill the Krogan by meleeing him. When you, listen, when you can kill a Krogan with your bare hands, that's that's the class for me, you know what I'm saying? So we're actually going to switch uh, here real quick. And we only have a few more Vorcha left, which I think we can take out as long as we are super careful about how we do this. We'll pull out an SMG, which, you know, isn't the best at this range, but unfortunately another Krogan ends up uh, taking the place of the other one. You, you hate to see that. Health not looking good. We're gonna see if we can actually switch back to our shotgun. Hopefully we get some shields back. Looks like he's gonna sit there and then we're going to run away. He's charging after us. We're gonna head up here. We're gonna run all the way down to these stairs here. We gotta be super careful and see if the rest of our team can actually deal with this Krogan. Uh, whoop. No we're gonna go ahead and concussive shot. Nice, beautiful. And then we're actually going to charge as he's doing that. We're gonna melee. Unfortunately, my shotgun is out of ammo. Uh, and we're going to concussive shot again. And then that's going to allow us to actually shockwave him. And then as he's being shockwaved, we can finish him off with another SMG. Woo! All right. So that's two Krogan down. And now we have the rest of the Vorcha. And let's hope we can actually deal with them. Thermal clips are hard to find, apparently. I know there's one over here that we can grab. There's also this door that we can use. We wanted to, like, I don't know, retreat a little bit from this battle, apparently. We just go that way. So I just want to switch. Uh, it would be super easy. There's too many to actually charge in and deal with them that way. But if we come into this room, uh, which you can do, I guess. Grab this element zero, and uh, I guess that's that's pretty much it. There's also this door here. I don't want to be. I want to make sure that I'm not being too. Uh... All right, all right. Nope, we're coming back. Unfortunately, my squad actually came with me there. I didn't want that to happen. I wanted them to stick around because of the. You know the issues that we would have there going to cover all right so we're gonna send zaid in here we're gonna switch him back to his uh assault rifle remember once we have the shields down we can actually go ahead and uh overload the pyros and they will explode and eliminate everybody around them which is, you can't beat that man you just can't beat that So I think we only actually have a few left. Oh no, we have a lot more than I thought. Did they respawn by going into that room? Potentially, we actually caused them to respawn and I'm not sure if that's true, but we'll find out as we as we kind of proceed through here. So I'm actually going to shockwave this. It's going to hit most of them. And then we'll see if we can actually uh, concussive shot. Some, somebody here. And then unfortunately, our Zaid is down. We're gonna go ahead and grab that. We're gonna go ahead and charge on this guy. Finish him with a shotgun. 
finish that one. There we did. We did it. Woo! That was a fight, my friends. Holy cannoli. That took, uh, that took a few tries, I'll tell you that. So it might seem a little choppy in editing, but damn. That was a good time. So the best advice that I would have for, for something like that is to definitely take that high ground and deal with, um, you don't even deal with coming this way and dealing with these blue suns. Let the blue suns and, and them kind of do damage to each other and then and you pick off from afar. And having Garrus and Zaid is actually very good. You equip them with the sniper rifles and just have them sit at the windows. I unfortunately decided to explore over here, but I mean, we would have had snipers on them the entire time. So as we come in, there's actually human looters here who did say something to us as we approached that was like, hey, we got here first. Don't, don't you loot our stuff. Um, I don't really care what these guys say. I do what I want. So we, we can talk to them, but uh, I don't, you know, I don't think these guys are going to want to fight us because we are, we're better, we're, we're better than they are. All right, let's see what they're doing. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff. It's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. You guys what are, are you gross. Doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Yeah. Besides, if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? No more looting. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot us? <laughs> this plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Excuse Some me? Some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. You're on Omega. I feel like stealing is probably not the best thing to do. You know a Solarian named Morden Solace? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. Okay, interesting. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? Blue Suns used to keep them down, but with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. I eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kind of had that coming. <laughs> no way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, don't cause any trouble. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish him off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see him go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. Huh. All right, well. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while, get some rest. Yeah, right. Don't worry, you made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Oh, yeah? Boom! No, I'm just kidding. I won't do that. I won't do that. That'd be rude. That'd be so rude. No, we're not gonna. We're gonna leave here. There's nothing for us either. So that that definitely was one heck of a one heck of a fight uh, on insanity. Woo wee! We also don't really have like I have in my incendiary ammo, which is good against armor. Uh, obviously, if you're playing this on a lesser difficulty, those enemies won't even have armor, so it's like you can. It's pretty easy. Um, and only two Krogan came after us, and a couple Varen. The Varen are super easy to deal with not a not a big deal at all now i believe you could actually like run through but i think this door is actually locked if you decide to just run past everybody and try to get in i think it like glitches out and does something crazy and like causes all these other ones to spawn but, uh specifically if you're an infiltrator and use your tactical cloak to just go and viz and run through them all i think it like it, it there's a reason why you can't i definitely remember that maybe somebody in the comments can help me out here hello oh loki max interesting no funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Yeah, I don't really mind dealing with mechs. I've killed uh, plenty of those. So we made it to the clinic. All clear here. Okay. 
Hi. Gordon's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Okay, you guys seem friendly. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. So it looks like humans are actually running this place. Interesting. So you can change your weapon loadout if you want. Uh, we're going to keep what we have. It's not a huge deal. Um, I actually wouldn't mind switching Shepard to for this fight in particular because I know we're not going to be facing anybody big, but we can actually do the arc projector uh, and potentially do some pretty cool stuff with that. There's a Turian patient over here. Hello. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. So, wait. So, so he found a way to to help people. Professor, we're running low on some toxins. Huge collateral. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in the terrains. Supplement with butemerol. Alnary. Interesting. This guy seems like a genius. So, let's talk to this guard. Sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. We can grab this medigel as well. We can't use this door. Hey, Garris. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. Yeah, I saw those guys too. I yelled at them. Can't go through there just yet. We will be able to. Unfortunately, we weren't able to. I should have just gone to the Normandy and uh, and and used the new armor that we bought. The, the blood dragon armor because it's so good, but I didn't. Let's check out this room first. Grab some platinum. 2,000 platinum. That's quite a bit. You can also grab this metagel. I love how we're looting a clinic right now, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. And we can research uh, metagel capacity, which obviously we'll be able to upgrade once we recruit the professor, Morden Solace, onto our squad. Which, spoiler, we do that. <laughs> we're about to do that right now. And there he is, the man himself, the man, the myth, the legend. Let's go ahead and grab this med kit first for 100 credits and grab that iridium and that element zero and 500 element zero in fact i love how i also grab power so oh we're full um so cool looks like that's pretty much all we can get out of here definitely grab that meta gel capacity like i said you're gonna want that stuff super super important so let's go ahead and let's for the first time ever talk to one of the coolest characters in mass effect period love this professor morden solace Turian physiology, resilient, with simple immuno booster. Should be fine now. Now to greetings. Human. Curious. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible uses by a weapon. No, no, no. Too many guns. Not enough data equipment. Soldiers. Not scientists. Yes, yes. Hired guns. Maybe. Looking for some. Relax, yes. Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Hmm. Cerberus. Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Turian involvement surprising. Racial tension with humans. Unlikely to help a human-centric organization. This mission reaches far beyond mere human interests, Professor. We all have to work together to take down the Collectors. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors one of few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. Uh, I can do I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That wasn't a good noise. Vorcha have shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before District suffocates. Here, take Plague Cure. Also, bonus in good faith, weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks. May come in handy against Vorcha. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Vorcha territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. I'll keep an eye out. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. Also, very important, uh, I met a sick I Vitarian. found a Vitarian plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling, district not secure. See what I can do. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. What do you know about the Vorcha? Q. 
cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. Hmm. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. I love him. Let's head for the environmental plant. Like, how cool is he? He's like, hmm, never see me coming. Ah, I got this. Ah. So we get, he actually gives us a new uh, pistol, the Carnifex hand cannon, uh, which is not a bad pistol. It actually is a little bit slower and it's very useful uh, to like line up perfect shots and like get headshots and everything. Uh, but it has more recoil. It actually does less damage than the M3. So I just wanted to yes, Shepard. keep that in mind. I think we got everything. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, good. Restore power. Release so this is going to be a bit longer of an episode, but I do, I would like to get all of this done in one episode i like i like having episodes per dossier right i think that's a cool thing to do so that's what i would like to do and that's what we're gonna do i don't care how long it is viewer deal with it you can always come back hit play pause you know take a nap whatever you want to do he also i want to point out did give us the that gun and it's automatically equipped the carnifex so we don't have to worry about equipping that so as we proceed forward we are going to have a little bit of a uh a little bit of a, a problem here. As soon as we come in here, we are going to have a ton of Vorcha. And we're going to go ahead and actually overload this Pyro right away. Perfect. I'm going to need you back up. Uh, somehow, Garrett's unequipped on his sniper rifle. I don't want that. Back off, Garrus. Don't die. Don't die. You'll actually be able to see how much damage... That Carnifex is able to do super quickly. I mean, yes, we have the incendiary ammo, which is obviously helping quite a bit in that regard, but two shots will eliminate most of the armor. I do think the M3 is better overall, but in less shots, which is why you have less ammo, you're able to you're able to kind of eliminate more things. So if you have more access to thermal clips, I think the Carnifex is great. You need to be super careful here. This is getting a little greedy. Uh, looks like we have a Krogan coming in in the back here. We want to be careful about. Deal with as many of these as possible. We only have three shots. Remember, these guys do end up healing. So we want to make sure that we deal with that as well. Putting incendiary on our Geth Plasma shotgun here. And see if we can actually get a few shots. We're going to back up just a little bit here. Hopefully our squad is able to do some damage. I was hoping that that Vorcha would die, but unfortunately, I don't think he did. Garrus actually looking pretty low. We're going to go in here. And we're going to go ahead and concussive shot both of those. Good. Perfect. And finish it off just like that. Unfortunately, Zaid being a little useless here. No, no, no. I need you to go over there. Going to cover. Going to cover. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So we're actually going to grab these thermal clips that are here as well. I think we actually only have a couple more Vorcha left, so we can get a little we can get a little greedy. Whoa, I was just kidding. <laughs> Turn a corner and there's five more. That's fine, that's fine. Uh we're <laughs> Jeez Louise. See if we can actually throw a flashbang out. Uh unfortunately it didn't say that we could. Hello? Oh, I just can't do it. We'll stun. And then as he's going through the air, we'll shoot. And concussive shot to finish him off. Perfect. Then we'll go ahead and use this. We have plenty of room here, so I don't think we need to worry about... We don't have to worry about it too much. It's pretty scary, man. We have plenty of cover. I mean, they give us so much cover in this area, so I'm not, I'm not super worried. We're actually going to advance our team up a little bit here because there's no reason for them to be kind of, you know... Chilling over there. In fact, we're pretty close to dealing with all of these Borcha. 
Looks like there's one over there. There we go. That one's dead. I do feel like right now I'm not using my charge enough. And that's really just because... It's really just because there's just so many enemies. Can't target them. Like, like right here. No shields. We'll go ahead and see if we can charge. Perfect. See how little damage that actually does. So we're gonna charge into this guy. Now we're. See, I said we're not using our charge enough, and now we are. So I actually want to see if we can. So I want to actually concussive him away. And then I want to see, wait for our buddy here. Whoop, that's not good. Go ahead and kill the Krogan, perfect. I wanted to get an overload. I think I can still, yep, good. So that's just going to stun him enough so that I can get in there with a shotgun and a melee hit. Perfect. All right. Once we once we got into the groove of the charge, we were able to do some serious damage. And you'll see, I mean, you can tell how good it is, right, to charge in with a shotgun, melee. Uh, once we get the slowdown effect, when we charge, it's even better. Like, that's why it's such a priority to max out our charge as quickly as we can. There's a gambling terminal over here. Reminds me of the... The place in uh, Mass Effect 1, the Citadel. Excuse me. I have the hiccups. Love getting the hiccups during a recording sesh. That's that's the bee's knees. That's what that is. All right. So I think that last one's right here. Easy. 3,000 credits. Mine. I didn't even have to do any. Like, easy peasy. All right. Look around. Make sure we got everything that we can. So obviously, if you have... I do recommend Zaid and Garrus. I think they're really good for this section. If you did go and do the Warlord dossier, then I would definitely recommend bringing Garrus and that person, or potentially Zaid and that person. Um, I just think Garrus is, is uh, like a... You need to bring Garrus with you everywhere because he's Garrus. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, know what I, you know what I'm saying? So I want to look around make sure we don't forget anything. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we have mostly everything. But still, this is a completionist playthrough, my friends, and we're doing 100%, and I want to make sure we get everything. Hopefully this episode isn't too long, but hey, it is what it is. You're going to watch it. You're going to watch it. <laughs> As I'm telling myself, it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. All right, let's head back. We're going to we're going to head up these stairs, which is the only way that we can go. I believe we've gotten everything so far. We want to make sure we have a bank terminal over here that we definitely want to hack. Make sure we get as much money as possible. Let's do it. Uh, we need this one. Perfect. And then we need uh, this one here. Perfect. And I need... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Not able to find what I need. There it is. Woo! Woo! We got it. We got it. We got it. Sometimes you just have to wait and hope that you get it. 5,000 credits, though. That's, that's, that's an upgrade right there. That's what that is. All right. So I think we're good. We're going to head this way. I think we got all we're thermal clipped up ready to go i really like this section of the game actually i really do um it's 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 pretty cool so if you go right that's the way to advance the mission so i highly recommend taking this door on the left i'm telling you the truth i work for morden at the clinic i came here to help you we know you're spreading the plague virus we saw the vials in your bag no those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and we kill your friend. Hey, nobody needs to die. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. If we release the prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? Yeah. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. 
It doesn't. It's pretty far to find. But Thank hey. you. I thought they were gonna gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. We're the good guys. Yeah. Okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you. Well, everything. You're darn tootin' you do, Daniel. You're darn tootin'. So we'll go ahead and grab this med kit. We got a bunch of Paragon from rescuing Daniel and, and talking those people down, charming them, charming their butts off. More thermal clips are in here as well, which we don't need because we're awesome and we're full on ammo. So good for us. I will say that you need to be super careful when you go into that room to talk to Daniel. I'd recommend saving before you do. Uh, if you choose any anything wrong, um, they'll, they'll kill Daniel. Like pretty much if you say anything, they'll, they'll potentially kill Daniel. So be, be careful with that. All right, so let's head into this. Incoming. Continue the mission. Now, right away, we're going to have to deal with these guys. And we're actually going to charge right away. Boom, baby. We'll charge this guy. Woo. Do you see what I mean? Do you see the juicy goodness that is Vanguard? It's just so good, man. It's just so good. So this door actually just... Opens to oops, where we were. I don't... Listen, I don't know. We charged across this entire gap area that we were, you know? What are you gonna... What are you gonna do? Anyways. Uh, I don't know. Instead of just, like, hopping over, there's a door there. Yeah, it totally makes sense. Anyways, we can't get into that section, so let's head down here. And you'll see right away that we're actually gonna start getting hit by... Uh, Vorcha heavies? It's just, this is the, the first time that we've actually seen them. So we're actually going to make sure that both of these guys have their snipers equipped. And we're going to put them... Cover. Perfect. We're going to equip this. Uh, sniper rifle was actually able to take that heavy out pretty quickly. I don't know if you saw that. Dodge those rockets. Now you'll kind of start seeing the power of Zaid and uh, Zaid and Garrus as they are able to pop off with these sniper rifles as these heavies actually approach. We have more heavies over there. I think about six of them will spawn here. And then more are actually going to spawn from below us as well. And we got the Headhunter Trophy. All right. This unfortunately doesn't have incendiary ammo, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we have that back. Perfect. Incendiary, by the way, setting them on fire, if, in case you haven't noticed, does actually prevent them from... Uh, getting regenerating health so we're not gonna head downstairs yet we want to see if we can take down as many of these guys as possible while we're up here and we could charge we could charge down it looks like there's only two right now uh, potentially that's worth doing I'm actually going to have our squad kind of come over here, kind of have our backs just a little bit more than where they currently are. The SMG by this range is just so not good. Uh, I don't know where our team is. Oh, there. I want you guys over there, though. Affirmative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys go over there. There's thermal clips over here that I'm going to pick up. Perfect. More are spawning, so good thing we didn't charge down. Because we would have been pretty screwed, actually. Go ahead and pop that. That guy's dead. So obviously, this is like not really using our. Woohoohoo! See, in a split second, I almost just lost all of my health. That's wild. So those explosive canisters that you can see, if you overload those, which you can, uh, will actually make a bigger explosion. The hole. Ah. 
And then it looks like there's potentially only one left. So if we can get a charge out on this guy, that's what we're going to do. And we'll use this for cover. I will charge. Perfect. Whew. Uh, that actually wasn't a bad section at all. I feel like we kicked some booty. Looks like we stopped the Vorcha from spawning. And we're on this lower section now. Uh, and I do recommend you could come down here. Uh, but if you do, you're going to have to end up dealing with like Pyros and, and Krogan. And uh, I, I just think the whole section is a lot easier if you don't deal with those. If you deal with the heavies on top and then and then come down here. Uh, at least that's that's been my experience. Those are the stairs that lead back up. But it is very useful. Actually, in fact, if you are an engineer and you're able to pop a combat drone, uh, putting a combat drone to go over here will actually stop enemies from spawning. And that will allow you to kind of take everything out and you'll only have a couple enemies to deal with. So this is... A, whoa. Oops. This is a great spot to save the game. And we have this smaller little area here that we're going to head into. And immediately, looks like we're going to have to deal with some, uh, some... It looks like two Vorcha and a Krogan at the far end here. Which uh, actually isn't the best. And unfortunately, Garrus just kind of running in here. Uh, luckily, he was able to get into a position. Go ahead and we'll start shooting these guys. We're actually going to charge here. I mean, that wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but hey, it works. Anyways, we can salvage some parts here for a thousand credits and grab a meta gel, which we're going to want. Uh, although we're full on meta gel because we're too good at this game on insanity. We're just too good. We're too good. We're too good. Also, if you don't believe me, that's insanity because some people call people out for that stuff. And I don't know why. There you go. It's on insanity. I think we're close. We need to inject the cure and get the fans working again. All right. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and save here. Now, potentially, this could be one of the last places that you actually can save. So uh, definitely do that before you proceed any further. You don't want to have to redo a whole bunch of stuff, right? So we're going to head in here. This, my friends, is going to be the last you room. come here. We shut down machines. Break fans. Everyone choke and die. Then collectors make us strong. We knew it. What do the collectors want? <sighs> Collectors want plague. You work for doctor. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. I'm just very confused by the Vorcha overall. I feel like they were like, hey guys, we need to make enemies that are so evil. We need to see if we can stop these pyros from advancing on us. And then as soon as we can, we'll overload it. Perfect. And unfortunately, Zaid went down there, so I'm actually going to make sure that Zaid is in... Okay, he's in a fine position. He should be totally fine. Uh, let's go ahead. He's got sniper rifle. Both of them have sniper rifles. And we want to make sure that... Nope, Zaid, don't take a rocket to the face, dude. There we go. I don't think it's going to be that easy. This is a great place uh, if you could save to save the game. Unfortunately, we can't. So Whew. we're going to find out how this goes. Anyways, moving on, we can head over here. And I highly recommend putting your squad into cover. Perfect. Cover. You got it. We want to put them into cover there and uh, see what we can do here, which looks like we can insert the cure and turn the fans on. There's the cure. Now let's get those fans turned on. Unfortunately, though, it ain't going to be that easy. We're going to have to deal with... Not only do we have to deal with the advancing Vorcha that are coming 
from where we just came in, but there are going to be heavies as well that are going to be up here shooting at us. And we kind of want to take those out because actually our squad is not very good at dealing with heavies. And if we're far enough away, which we are right now, the heavies actually won't even won't even launch, uh, won't even attack us until we deal with most of these guys. So a lot of a lot of dealing with insanity in Mass Effect 2 is is just kind of understanding how uh, how enemies move and how where they go and and all that jazz. So waiting for these guys to pop out. See if I can hit one there. This is what I want. We got to watch out for this. Luckily, these rockets are pretty direct hit. They don't really do big AOE explosions. Especially if they hit walls. You love to see that. Now, I actually don't think we can charge these guys. Although I could be wrong. These guys actually look like they shoot three times. Which is very interesting. Anyways, we can head to the sides here. And this is where we need to go to turn on the fans. We have more Vorcha. We're going to go back here. And we're actually going to switch to our Geth shotgun. Here we go. I'm on it. We're going to call for some help. Remember, if you are able to strip that and then overload them, they're going to do a tremendous amount of damage to everybody around them, which is exactly what we want. And then we're actually going to concussive shack that guy. And hopefully be able to get another overload on this pyro here as he gets a little bit closer to his friends. Perfect. And we're going to wait just a little bit and overload this one as well. Actually, we can concussive shot just to slow him down. Just making sure there's nobody around us. And we were able to call our squad. We'll go ahead and overload. And then, for this guy, we're just going to charge in. Easy. That little combo is incredibly strong, by the way. I just want to point that out. I know I've talked about it a lot, but charging melee shotgun, very strong. There's also a med station that we can grab, since we did use one. First fan is on. Let's hit the second, and then we can get the hell off of Omega. I am down, dude. With the Professor Morden Solace. More are immediately going to start coming at us. We want to deal with these the best way we can, which is uh, not to charge in right now until we have a little bit less of them. Watching our shields this whole time. We're actually going to concussive shot that and uh, hopefully flash bang this. Potentially, I think, I could be wrong here, but I think we can also... I think we can shockwave. Oh, unfortunately... That was sketchy. Wow, I cannot believe we just survived that, actually. I thought for sure we were dead. That looked like we were dead, but we didn't die. I don't know if you could tell, but I was nervous. Anyways, we have a pyro on the other side here, which actually isn't that big of a deal. Um, we The Krogan, obviously, is the bigger deal, and the heavies that we have on the other side are the bigger deal. So we're going to see what we can do here. We're actually going to... Perfect. They actually already got into position. So we're going to switch to the Carnifex. Actually, we're going to... The Krogan's coming back in. So we're just going to try to dodge these rockets as much as we can. And uh, we're going to try to concussive this. Perfect. And we just want to be careful not to piss off any of these heavies by getting too close. Uh, and hopefully switch to Carnifex. And then we can actually just overload this guy. Get him out of there. Incredibly useful to overload the, the pyros. I felt like I hit him a bunch of times there, but what are you going to do? Uh, we're actually going to use this as cover here. And I think, for the most part, none of these should be able to hit us. And you can kind of use... Yeah, we, we have this pillar as... Oh, got hit. I think that guy's actually dead. Body's just stuck. I believe that guy's down too. We only have three shots left. We want to make them count.
How I wish that I could charge up there, but I uh, cannot. That would be beautiful. Let's go ahead. Okay, we got more problems. Go ahead and get Zaid up. Switch to our shotgun here. Go ahead and concussive. And then let's actually see if we can shockwave. Uh, that un unfortunately was not able to take him out. I was hoping it would. And then we have another pyro here as well, which then we can just kind of... Uh, you know what? In fact, we'll probably just kill him. Yep. Only one there. We're going to go ahead and charge. Oh, God. There's two. There's two. There's two. Go ahead and charge. He's dead. So, we could kill this heavy that's up here if we wanted to, uh, but we don't actually really need to. We can come in here and we can just turn the fans on. There we go. Everyone in the district will be inhaling the cure shortly. Grab this medical station. There it is! We did it! Woo! Environmental systems engaged. Damn. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. Nah, man. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients. Sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. So we have the option to stay or leave, and I actually recommend uh, staying. I'm gonna look around for a moment. Because we can talk to some of the people that we saved, like I, this guy. I know you from the apartment. You found me. You told Morden about me, didn't you? You, you saved my life. Remember this the next time you're about to judge our species. I was wrong about you, human. I was wrong about a lot of things. The last time I saw you, you were too weak to move. Two of Morden's assistants found me. They gave me the vaccine and brought me back here once I was stable. They Told were you. humans, but they risked their lives to find me and bring me to safety. I'm glad to see you're okay. Isn't that awesome? I owe you my life, human. Thank I think you. that's cool. So if you didn't grab the stuff that was laying around, you can do that now. Uh, it looks like he is... Okay, so there's somebody on the on the floor there. Uh, but, of course, there is other people around, like Daniel, who we saved as well. I can't believe Morden said all those things. I thought... I thought I knew him. I mean, he said what you... I, I don't know why you didn't think that he would do that, but... Morden's, uh... You know, he's seen a lot, and he does what needs to be done. That's exactly who we need. Oh, and the refugees that we found. Thanks for bringing us here. Thanks for bringing us here. You probably saved our lives. Uh, probably. I did save your life. This clinic gave me sanctuary during the plague. I'll see if they need my help. Yeah. Things are going to be tough when Morden goes. I hope everyone here remembers everything we did for them. It's going to be strange running the clinic without the professor. Yes, it will be. But we'll get by. With the Vorture gone, the Blue Suns should be able to regain... Who would have thought the, the Blue Suns coming back? And that is going to be it! We finished this mission! We leveled up. We're now level nine. A thousand experience was gained. We recruited Dr. Morden Solace for the team. Examination of Omega Pl Plague Cure confirms Dr. Solace's expertise. Can also use work on Omega as leverage against Aria if necessary. We got the Carn Effects. We got Assault Rifle Damage. We got Metagel Capacity. We got some Credits. We got some Element Zero, Palladium, Platinum, Iridium. You'll love to see it. I also want to point out that we got uh, 48,000 credits. We actually could have gotten 50,000 credits if we let the Batarian die. Uh, but, you know, 2,000 credits, it's not worth what? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So, we saved it. And we get the trophy, the Professor.
Yeah. Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Salarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower you than You don't gas. have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. And there you have it. Morden Solis has joined us. And we get a bunch of new research that we can do now. Uh, including a shotgun that's incredibly good. Uh, armor, a bunch of different armors that we have now. Uh, it's it's just good news to have him on board, let me tell you. And, of course, we can go into... Whoop! We can go into his new research lab, uh, which is which is here. And you'll see all of the stuff now that we can look at, including all of the research that can be done at these terminals here. We have upgrades, uh, which we can go ahead and investigate. This is all of the stuff that we have about ourselves. And then we have the research terminal here as well, uh, including ship enhancements, which is actually very, very important. And then we have prototypes, uh, which are incredibly cool, too, that will allow us to kind of get a bunch of stuff, including this eviscerator shotgun that's actually incredibly, incredibly strong. So I just wanted to point that out. There's a missile launcher here as well. There is a bunch of different stuff that we can get now that we have him, including, and I, I, I don't know if you guys, uh, I just want to show this because it looks really cool. The collector armor which uh looks pretty wild we haven't seen any collectors yet but if they look anything like that we are in for a treat i mean i guess we did kind of see them uh and then we have this armor as well negotiation bonus is increased tech and biotic power damage is increased and storm speed is increased which is actually pretty good as well the inferno armor a lot of this is dlc uh but then of course we have our uh our stuff here as well um that we can that we can look at our um our uh, upgrades, our actual upgrades. And we also have our armor upgrades as well. Tech damage, all that stuff uh, can be increased. And then, of course, this is just upgrades. So this is kind of like the all of your research, including ship enhancements, which will be super important. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to point that out. We will tackle all of his stuff in the next episode. We'll talk to Morden. We'll figure out what's going on. And, uh, and I'm very excited. We're going to go ahead and create a new save here. Uh, and we, the next person we are going to recruit is the dossier, the warlord. And hopefully we're able to do all of that in one video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a long one. I'm going to try. I think it's just kind of cool to get the dossiers done in one whole episode, right? Uh, so, so that's what we're going to try to do. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like or a comment on these videos. They really do help me out. And again, another huge shout out to our newest patron over on patreon.com slash missile online. Dimitrinov. Thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate you. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next episode. Never give up. Never surrender to the plague. And then in the next episode, we're going to upgrade our character. Oh, yeah.